protests like this uh, um, send uh, waves of uh, fear and anxiety uh, into our communities. Ongoing Pride Month protests are raising concerns in Calgary's 2S LGBTQ plus community. After a June 17th protest included elements of hate speech and even calls for some public figures to be killed, Christopher Wells says the demonstrations have gone too far. We would hope that uh, in this case, the Calgary Police Service is is recording these protests and is analyzing them. And uh, if people have crossed the line into criminal misconduct, uh, that they will be arrested and they will be charged. Calgary City Council passed the Safe and Inclusive Access Bylaw in March. The regulation aimed to ensure safe access to public spaces that host drag events by prohibiting protests within a hundred meters of city facilities. With recent demonstrations, Wells wonders if the bylaw should be expanded. It's really important that people know that unlawful you know, behavior and hate speech uh, will not be tolerated on, on the streets of our, our cities. In a statement to City News, Calgary Police said in part, hate speech or hate motivation is determined through a variety of factors. For example, at a protest, both sides are entitled to their own views and to legal and peaceful protests for their beliefs. There are many groups who may say or do extremely offensive things, but it is not a crime to have or express an alternative view. With an additional protest planned Saturday at City Hall, CPS added they encourage anyone who believes they have witnessed a hate motivated crime or incident to contact police. In Calgary, Tate Laycraft, City News.